Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 23. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up our vehicle speed sensor and our gear detection in our EMU Black software. Now, we're going to be needing our vehicle speed calibrated in order to use things such as our speed based boost control or even our launch control. So, we need to make sure that when we're actually traveling 10 kilometers per hour or 100 kilometers per hour, that the vehicle speed sensor will be calibrated properly. We're also going to take a look at how to set up our gear detection within our EMU Black if we're using boost by gear. We need to reference what the gear is that we're actually in so that we can have our boost applied properly. So that's going to be another very important feature that has to be set up and calibrated. So we're going to be looking how to do that in this video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at learning how to set up our vehicle speed sensor input and our gear calculations within our EMU Black. Now before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure you have your main setup page layout open so you can follow along with what I'm going to be showing you here in the tutorial. If we go under desktops, under open desktops template, we can find right here main setup. This is what we want to select out of our setup window. Let's click cancel since that I have loaded on my screen right now. I'm going to move from my setup page here all the way across into VSS. This is where I'm going to be doing the configuration and all the programming details to set up my speed sensor and my gear detection. So on the left hand side of the screen we have our basic live information. We also have anything related to our vehicle speed and gear detection. We're going to be looking in this window here and guiding us in getting things calibrated for uh, both the speed sensor and the actual gear calculation. In the middle here this is where we program all the, the actual details for the sensor type of working with and doing all the calibration and also setting up the actual uh, associated calibrated amounts so that the EMU Black can figure out what gear position we're in. And then we also have off to the right here, if we're running a sequential style transmission, many times they'll have a gear sensor, so it's going to be sending out a certain amount of voltage associated with a gear position. So you're able to determine what that's going to be if you're using a paddle shift or you're using your actual sequential shifter stock and you're moving it up or down, you want the EMU Black to keep track of what that gear position is. Um, so we'll be able to configure that if needed within this table. This is something that's probably not for most applications. What we'll be covering in the video is going to be what you are more likely to find on your vehicle, which is going to be having just a single vehicle speed sensor input wired to your EMU Black, and then being able to define and configure the actual gear calculation so it knows when you're shifting throughout all the gears. We need gear calculation if we're going to be using something like boost by gear, so it knows our gear position. It can reference that to be able to stage the amount of boost we have in each gear so that we're going to be able to put power down a bit better. So that's just one use or one thing we need to make sure is right. We're also going to be using vehicle speed for something like launch control, telling when launch control should turn off based on vehicle speed. If we don't have our vehicle speed configured properly, we can run into some problems with just getting some, a simple task like launch control to work. So let's move into our middle parameters here. This is going to be where we do our actual programming configuration and setup. We'll talk about what we have to work with here and how to define things properly. So right now at the top, gear detection type, we're going to have two different options here. We have calculated or gearbox sensor. Now calculated is what we're going to be using for most all transmissions. Gearbox sensor is going to be used if you're going to be on a sequential style transmission that's going to output a certain amount of voltage for a certain gear position. So for example, if you're running a Quave sequential transmission, they will have a gearbox sensor and it will have that association with the voltage output to a particular gear, which Quave can supply all of that data for you so you can populate your table right here. So if we select our gearbox sensor, we're gonna- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.